tragedy in Person County this morning after a driver hits and kills a teenager who was walking along the road. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. The hit and run victim's father is now accused of shooting and killing the driver that hit his son. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live at the Person County Sheriff's Office with this story. And Mariah, what have you been able to find out about this? Out there on that road, deputies did tell us that they had at least one neighbor that actually came up to them and told them that they actually had about a close call when they saw this family walking near that road. And they tell us this family actually stopped and parked their car on the side of the road because they had ran out of gas. A narrow country road in Timberlake. This road is, has a lot of traffic on it all the time because it's a cut through. Neighbors like Patty Elliott startled Monday morning, noticing a line of patrol vehicles and agencies along Dink Ashley Road. I thought it was just a car accident. And that was my first concern, but when I walked across the road, look, I know we didn't see a car. Around 6 a.m., Person County Sheriff's deputies say it's where a juvenile whose family members identified as 17-year-old Chad Woods Jr. was hit and killed. Family saying the teen had worked at Pellis Point in Roxboro. He was the second oldest of four brothers. Investigators say the family had pulled over after running out of gas. They were walking to their home nearby on Cedar Creek Road. The driver actually tried to get help in that moment. He did. He's the one that initially called 911. Before help could arrive, Sergeant Kevin Morris says the teen's father shot the driver and took off with the man's truck. They found the vehicle outside the family's home. Police say the driver died from his injuries after being rushed to the hospital. He's been identified as Jeffrey McKay of Youngsville and worked as an electrical supervisor for the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction. The suspect of the shooting told us that he threw the gun in this pond. For hours, divers and crews searched the pond and soybean field nearby, unable to locate the weapon. Deputies later arrested Chad Woods Sr. in connection to the shooting. He faces charges of second-degree murder and larceny of a motor vehicle. It makes it it's kind of sad, you know, and I feel, I feel bad for him because he was trying to do the right thing and he ends up just like the young juvenile did. It's a terrible thing to happen. 